Welcome back to IsraelVision.tv, and uh, my name is David Rawlings, and we have a very special guest, Avi Lipkin. And uh, hold on to your seats, it's going to get rough from here on out. We're talking about all sorts of very interesting subjects. You're not going to want to miss this time. As I was saying in the previous uh, segment, um, German people are good people. Sure. When Hitler came to power, however, he killed I don't know if you know this or not, Hitler killed seven million Christians in the Holocaust. Uh, Hitler killed Catholic nuns and priests. He killed Protestant ministers. Anybody who opposed Nazism was killed. And the Jewish Holocaust began in earnest, really, six years after Hitler came to power, so that the people who could have defended the Jews had already been eliminated themselves. And so Hitler turned Germany into a terrible, terrible country. Uh, once you got rid of Hitler and the Nazi party, Germans are great people. Same with Japan. Japanese people are fantastic people. Once you get rid of Tojo and the crazy system, and you force, you ramrod down the throats of the Japanese people, Judeo-Christian Western civilization and democracy, in spite of the fact that they're not even Christians, they're Shinto. But look at Japan today. Japan today actually is after China now, is number three uh, as far as the world economy. Japan is an ally of the United States. By the way, Germany is an ally of the United States. So very clearly the problem is not a question of are the Muslims good people or bad people. Muslims are good people. Muslims are people in the image of God. Muslims are loving because they're in the image of God. But Islam, like Nazism and Tojo fascism, are anti-human, anti-love systems. And so that's why I love the Muslims. I want to bless the Muslims. But you cannot bless the Muslims until you ban the Nazi communist Tojo system of Islam. Islam has to be banished. This is, this is extremely controversial what you're talking about it doesn't get any more extreme I mean you've taken political correctness and thrown it out the window well I always say that uh, when you're politically incorrect you are absolutely correct and well, well, why is it why is it that we have with, with the openness of society why is it that we people in general have had have been muzzled yes well I, I will say like this you know that um, after World War II there has been a very, very strong movement away from uh, Christianity, uh, a very strong movement away from Judaism. Uh, the only people who are getting more and more fervent in their religion are the Muslims. Um, you know, after, uh, remember in Europe, you had uh, Catholics killing Protestants, uh, you had uh, French killing Germans, French killing uh, English, uh, French uh, killing, I, I love the French, by the way, but Napoleon fought in Spain and uh, Portugal. Sure. The Germans against the Russians. I mean, come on, World War Two, World War One, World War Two. It's a these are wars, Christian Christian in, wars, in which white European Christians slaughtered each other. Slaughtered. And after World War Two, praise God, the Europeans woke up and say, "Why are we killing each other?" And so what happened was there was a backlash against Christianity as well. Uh, Christianity became uh, politically incorrect, whether it's Protestantism or Catholicism. It doesn't matter. Uh, you have today a very, very strong takeover of churches being bought out by the Muslims who have all this oil money. They're flush with oil money from Saudis and others. And so Islam is growing and Christianity is being put on a back shelf, except for certain groups that are evangelical, that are the born-agains who are coming back to life as far as Christianity in Europe. And I work with these groups. I'm a Jew who works with these groups. Uh, okay. So... The United States also was a country that was founded on Christianity, on the Bible. It was. Uh, the United States always blessed its Jews. That's also one of the reasons why I say America is the greatest country on earth, because it blessed its Jews. And by the way, Canada is, forgive me for saying it, like the United States also. It's a smaller country with a smaller population, but Canada also blessed its Jews. So Canada is also... Well, there, there's a bit of a gray area there in history in the 30s and 40s. But, right, uh, right. Well, in, you had in the 30s and 40s in America also, you had uh, Breckenridge Long, who was the undersecretary of state for visas under Roosevelt. And he, I know. He was the guy who he, blocked the Jews from getting right, their visas. That's right. So, but the point is, America never killed its Jews, and Canada never killed its Jews. Okay. Um, but the point I'm saying is that uh, we are seeing in the last few decades a movement away from Christianity, a movement away from Judaism among many of the Jews also, uh, it's not politically correct. Okay. Before we get into uh, what a, a book, that a very uh, inspiring book that you've written, The Five Deceptions of Islam, I would like to um, break now mm -hmm. and we'll get into that and then we're going to get back into some really important questions. 
Um, and so, Avi, thank you for your time. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back.